Hey guys, I'm going to show you today uh, how to make some French baguette at home with just three ingredients. A very quick recipe that uh, works almost every time. Um, I've started doing that uh, since I don't really like the bread I'm finding around here. And it's worked for me, so hopefully you guys can try it. And uh, if you like it, let me know in the comments. And enjoy! Let's get to it! So let's start the recipe. First, with our bowl. Make sure we reset the scale. We're gonna add first our yeast, four grams. There we have it. Then we're going to add the salt. Now, with our lukewarm water, we have a total of 300 milliliters. I'm just gonna mix some of it there. So here we can just dissolve the salt and the yeast inside of the water. Make sure it's all well dissolved. It's grainy. We want that to be all dissolved eventually. It's been a couple minutes. I have a nice consistency. Now I can add all of my flour at once. That is 400 grams of flour. And then I simply pour the rest of the water on top. And all I have now left to do is actually mix. Starting to get there and then I'm gonna let it rest for two hours. Remember there were two towels? We're just gonna wet those. Make sure they're not dripping wet. We just want them wet wet, right? If I squeeze them, you see no water is coming out. So, just gonna cover the dough for a couple hours. So here we are, after uh, almost a couple hours. Now what we're gonna do is use a bit of flour and just start to make that lump. Like remove any air that's inside. It's going to be sticky. You can always add some more flour to the mix, just on the surface, to keep it from sticking too much to your fingers. So I'm gonna press it down just to make sure any air bubbles coming out and the fun part comes now and just use a bit of flour always and I can do pretty much shape it in whatever shape I want so here in this case I'm just gonna do a simple two so ripping it in two lumps of equal size and just start to roll it Now, with a simple non-stick paper on a baking sheet, just gonna transfer that. Okay, here we are, and we're gonna grab a knife and just do some carvings on top here, not too deep. See, I don't go too deep, just a little bit. Next step is to put this in the oven for 25 minutes at uh, 450 degrees Fahrenheit and see how the bread is doing. One trick I like is throw a little bit of water at the bottom of the oven to create the steam rather than using a, a bowl. So this, the bread is here, 
just gonna toss it in there. And this is going to create the steam that we need. Okay, the oven's beeping. And look at what we have here. We're gonna leave it a couple more minutes to have it really nice and crispy. Two minutes later, this is what we have here. Nice homemade bread.